At the end of last year, I talked about how I was getting out of racing, cross-country racing particularly, and just going to enjoy cycling for a while without having to focus on racing. And what that's done is it's opened up the exploration side of cycling for me. After all, my channel mantra is ride, live, explore. And I love exploring. I love going places I've never been before. That's what cycling is all about to me. It's exploration. Even if you're racing, you can explore the capabilities of your body entering into an event, not knowing what the outcome is going to be. It's all exploration to me. And so I am now getting into bike packing. I've wanted to do this for years and years. And you always tell yourself, all right, when I'm less busy, I'll do this. The fact is, we're never going to be less busy. I get busier and busier every year. So I just said, I'm doing it. I'm getting into bike packing. I've really enjoyed camping over the years, particularly backpacking. I was really into backpacking in my 20s. But I could never fully get into backpacking because my IT bands would have issues on long hikes. And I had a, a trip where I did a 15 mile day, strained my IT band, had to bag the trip and go through six months of rehab, getting my IT band, band back to normal. And so it's just the way my hips and legs are shaped. Uh, it's just one of those things. Bike packing is something that I can enjoy the camping side, the exploration side, and of course the cycling side. So I, I'm gonna do it. Now, I am just now getting into this. I just got my bags. So I did a lot of research and there are two main brands that kept coming up as the top brand. And the one that I went with, and I'm so glad I did, is Artlieb. So I have now a set of Artly bags. I'll just show you real quick. I'll do a full review on this as I get into this. This is gonna open up basically a whole new video series for me. And part of the series is I'll, I'll show you my gear. So I'm gonna show you the bags that I have. We'll start from front to back. I've got the handlebar bag. Again, when I do the review, I'll put this on the bike and show it to you and all that. So this is the handlebar bag. And the, the first of all, the thing that I really like about Artlieb bags is that they are totally waterproof. And I really love the, the features, the ingenuity, the quality of these bags. Years ago, I used to commute about 20 to 24 miles to work. And I had a bike, I think it was a Trek, uh, what was it, the 530, whatever their touring bike was back then, and a rack. And I had these Cannondale panniers and I had rain covers for the panniers and there was, a, one maybe two times where I got caught in the rain and I had the rain covers on but what's happening was the water was coming off the back wheel getting in between the rain cover <laughs> and the pack and there was this water pooled underneath the rain cover and everything in the pack got soaked because the bags were not waterproof which is why I wanted to go with fully waterproof bags so these I think it's IP64 so it's just a, all these bags are a roll top closure and this is, this is not the bag review. I'm just telling you why I went with these bags. Totally waterproof, super high quality. So the, the handlebar bag has this really, really unique design where you don't have to have anything, any brackets on your handlebars and they come on and off the handlebars really quickly. I would say, I know I'm gonna to get to the rack here in a second, but the, the main reason, one of the main reasons I went with Artly bags is the quick release rack. You can, it, they say you can take it or put it on the bike in 15 seconds and take it off in five. I've already mounted it as a test and it's true. So I really like that, but I'll show you the rack coming up here in a minute. So handlebar bag, then I got a top two bag. So I debated whether or not I should go with a full frame bag, but I wanted access to my water bottles. Now I'm using my Niner RLT9, which has brazons all over the bike. So it's set up perfectly for, for bike packing. I put, could have put a front rack on, but I wanted to go with the top two bags so I have access to my water bottles underneath. So this, you know, even though it's not a full frame bag, you can put a lot of stuff. So my electronics cords, all that. I'll go over my full setup. When I get it set up, I'm gonna do a test run. I'll talk about an event that I'm doing coming up here in a month. But you got this bag and then the seat bag. Now this thing is massive and this is where all of my clothes are gonna go. And so again, waterproof, it's got a lashing on top. I'll probably put like, you know, sandals 
for the campsite up here. Uh, so again, this is where all my clothes are going to go, and this thing is great. No bracket installed on the seat. It comes on and off the seat with just these closures. And then finally, we have the panniers. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with bike packing and bike touring, I'll tell you as an expert now, because I spent a lot of time on YouTube researching, I haven't even ridden yet. The difference between bike packing and touring, touring is where you basically have these big front and rear panniers and touring is kind of like more highway miles where you're going from city to city. You're probably staying in hotels, not as much off-road. Bike packing is geared more towards being streamlined and going off-road more and I'll be doing a lot of gravel and you're camping. Now, I'm not saying you can't camp with bike touring. A lot of people camp when they bike tour, but I have to fit my sleep system, which can be bulky. That's like the bulkiest part of the whole kit. So I'm a hammock camper. I have a war bonnet Ridge runner, which I'll review in a separate video since I'm doing a whole series on this. But the war bonnet Ridge runner is the best night's sleep I've ever had in the outdoors. I also like hammock camping because you don't have the the moisture the condensation that gets on your tent and your you know your ground cloth and you're packing up this nasty wet dirty ground cloth uh, so i love hammock camping but again I'll, I'll get into that but the bottom line is i debated whether or not i could go with the seat bag a frame bag and handlebar bag which is a very common bike packing setup i concluded i really needed a rack not only because i have more space with the panniers but also i can put some stuff on top of the rack and it just, I, I, I did the math and I was like, I just can't fit a, a, a hammock with the poles because it's a bridge style hammock. And also the under quilt and the top quilt. And then of course, all my other stuff, my clothes, food, uh, water filter, camp stove. I did the math and I just didn't see how I could fit everything without uh, a rack and panniers. Now, because this is a bike packing setup, I really like these panniers, again, this is not a, the full review, that's coming. But these are smaller panniers. These are called the gravel pack. And once you roll the top closed, so let's do that so you can get an idea. It's not that big of a pannier, so you're more streamlined. And that's the thing about bike packing is you wanna be streamlined. You don't want to have all of this, you know, aerodynamic drag when you're riding and these, even though they're probably more drag than a frame bag, not as much as like a big, massive touring pannier. So I really like this. And, you know, one pannier is going to have all of my food and water filter, and the other one's going to probably have my top quilt. And so this is great. Now, I mentioned the rack. This thing is, is really nice because it's got the, these quick releases, and all you do is you put these little pegs on the bike and my bike already has the the holes for the uh, little pegs because it has a rack mount brazon or you know whatever you call it so i can put this rack on and off now i installed the pegs it took like one minute and i can just leave them on the bike and then this rack drops on and off which is awesome also for bike commuting so if you want to commute and not have a backpack on your back you can put this rack on and off. So these go on, just they just clip on in, in seconds, like two seconds, and then it's got a quick release for the seat post and the rack comes on and off. So I, I say all that just to kind of introduce this series that I'm getting into with bikepacking and to show you my setup. Now I talked about an event that I'm doing. It's coming up in one month. It's called Forgotten Florida. A guy locally puts it on and it's 216 miles over three days, two nights, and I'll be camping. Now, there was an option to stay indoors at a campsite. I don't know what it was, maybe a ca I don't know what a cabin, something like that. But I'm gonna be camping, and so I'm going to be doing that in a month. I'll probably do a dry, a dry run. I'll probably do one overnight uh, just to test all my setup and my gear, make sure everything works properly before I head out on a 216 mile ride. But I'm, I'm so stoked about this. It's the adventure side of cycling, stepping out and to something new. I love learning new things. I love doing new things. And even though I've done a lot of backpacking, a lot of camping, a lot of biking, I've never put it all together. And so I'm super excited about this. Many more videos to follow. 
on the gear. I'll document the trip, other bike packing stuff from the standpoint of someone who's just getting into it. I know there's a lot of y'all watching my channel that have been doing this for like 20 years, but it's new for me. So I will show what it's like getting into it. Am I going to head out on this adventure and be like, this is the craziest thing. I should have never done this. Or am I going to be like, this is the best thing ever. I'm dedicating my life to bikepacking. <laughs> All right. That'll wrap it up for this video. Hey, drop in the comments below your experience bikepacking. What is, what's the gear you use? What's the bag you use? What's your setup? I would love to know that for those of you who bike pack. What, what bags do you use? Do you use panniers? Do you just use the frame bag and the seat bag and the handlebar bag? Let me know. We'd love to hear that feedback. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.